Hi, my name is Michelle McCurris. I am a physical therapist assistant, and I am a mother of three amazing young men. Two are in college and one is in high school. I got into physical therapy because since I was in sixth grade, I just knew that when I grew up, I wanted to be in the medical field, helping people, changing lives. My name's Sarah Crego. I was born in Fort Wayne. I've been here at Fellowship. My mother, Kathy, goes here. She's a teacher in Crosstown. My son, Andrew, is involved in the teen program. And my two nieces, Lyric and Chloe, are involved in their classrooms as well. In 2010, I was having migraines and it was making me nauseous every single day. And one day I was at work and I just couldn't stand anymore. I was very, very ill. I was in severe joint pain. I could feel where my ribs and my spine would meet. I could tell you where every one of those was at. I could feel where every carpal was in my wrists, where every bone was in my feet. Everything was severe pain. Back in 2008, I had headaches for two or three days. Tylenol didn't help. My migraine medicine didn't help. So I went to my doctor, and through lab work, she referred me to a nephrologist who did a biopsy of my kidneys to actually diagnose me with lupus nephritis. Lupus is basically an autoimmune disease. So the body is basically attacking the healthy cells as well as the not healthy cells. Lupus has basically attacked my kidneys. I kept ignoring my own symptoms. I'm a strong, independent person, just kept getting up every day, going to work until I couldn't stand anymore. They did some testing and related it back to my kidneys and the biopsy showed that I have lupus. Now have irreversible scarring. The kidneys do not filter what they need to filter and the kidney functions have declined below 15%. The kidney failure prevents the body from washing away the toxins and purifying your blood. In September of 2013, I received a kidney transplant from a cadaver. In September of 2016, I started showing signs and symptoms of kidney failure again. I went through four procedures to be placed on hemodialysis. I have a port in my chest and a fistula in my wrist where they actually take my blood out of my body, clean it through a system, and send it back to me. Now I need a life-saving kidney transplant in order to save any type of quality of life. So my match needs to be O oh, in between 18 and 50 in very healthy condition. I can receive one from a deceased donor, but the waiting list for that is four to five years. None of my siblings are healthy enough or have the same blood type. All three of my sons are type A. Nolan's not even old enough. Now I find myself in the position of asking for your help, asking for a portion of yourself to save my life so that I can continue on on my journey. Having a new kidney, getting a kidney transplant, would open up a whole new world for me. And your blood types are the first key that they're gonna look for. But in my case, I'm A positive. You have to be between the ages of 18 to 50, non-diabetic, not obese. Once I receive a kidney transplant, I am just as healthy as anybody else. That kidney will function completely for me, and I will no longer have to do dialysis. The risk is low for kidney donors. They do it by laparoscopic surgery. They are in the hospital for maybe one to two days and maybe need to be off work for a week if it's a desk job, maybe longer if you have a more physical job. But they have high success rates of living with just one kidney post-donation. I agree to do the video, basically awareness. And because I believe in the power of prayer, so I figure we're family and you go to family first when there's a problem and you need help. So I'm here asking for help. I find this very difficult and what i rather be doing is the one on the other side giving the encouragement and donating my kidneys and donating my time and donating my energy to be more of an encourager for somebody else. The other day my son and I were talking and he just th throwing it out there like, Mom, you want to live and you want to watch your sons get married and to grow up and to have wives and to um, watch their children grow up. My son is 15 and he's a sophomore in high school. Having a kidney transplant would mean I could be the mom that he wants me to be, be the mom that he needs me to be. I could be the aunt and the daughter and the sister and the friend that I want to be, that I could go and do activities and keep up with my friends and not have to sit and rest and not have to back out at the last minute because I just can't keep up. 
So I'm asking you, would you consider being a potential kidney donor? Would you talk to your family? Would you pray for me? Because sometimes it, you get down and you, want, you think that you're not worth this. Please continue to pray for me and my son and my family as we go through this journey together. Thank you.